yeah, this is Katie. Look how messy my car is. <laughs> I clean it and it's like super organized, super organized. And then literally 12 minutes later, it looks like this. I don't know how. It has like pajamas. There's a book. There's a boot over there. I don't know. So do you guys remember like three months ago or so, I talked to you guys about maybe doing some more serious videos and like all of you guys who were commenting were totally on board with it. Well, this is gonna be my first serious video. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna talk about, oh, this is gonna be weird, guys. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be really, really, really weird. I wanted to talk about what I do every day, like how I spend my days when I'm on the road, when I'm traveling, when I'm living in my car, when I'm going to new places, new cities, everything. I wanna to talk to you guys about what I do every day. And I know this doesn't really seem like it's gonna be a serious video, but it is. The thing with social media, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or other ones, it's that when you're watching people, especially you're watching people you don't know, you only get a small glimpse of their life. But it makes it so easy for everyone else to think, the viewers to think, oh, this is just what their life is like. Like even if people vlog every day, or even if people post videos or post snaps every day, you still are only getting a few minutes of their life. And it's not actually a fair representation of what their life is. And it doesn't mean that they're lying to you. It doesn't mean that they're being fake. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that they're showing you a particular part of their life and they're not showing you the rest. Some of it's private. Some of it's just not what they want to share. And so they're just going to share the things they want to share. So now I want to tell you guys what I do every day because that's what the video is about, right? That's probably what the title is going to be. That's what I wanted to talk about. And because I don't post what I do every day, all day, you guys only see parts of my days and sometimes even just parts of my week. I'm really only posting about once a week on YouTube, sometimes twice, but that means you're only seeing like 10 minutes, 20 minutes of my week. And sometimes on Instagram and Snapchat, there'll be more I post on there. And if you guys don't follow me, I have the links in my description to all my social media, but I post a little bit more on there, but it's generally not a very fair representation of what I do all day. So I, this is the part that's going to be hard. So this is all pretty serious. I think about a lot of this stuff a lot. I think about serious things almost consistently. And so that's kind of why I was like, maybe it's just time to share that part of me on YouTube because that is who I am. And for the past few years, I haven't wanted to, I've just wanted to be the, the, positive bubbly like blah, 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 person and that is who I am sometimes but a lot of the times actually more often than not I'm not like that and again it's not me necessarily lying to you I think I talked about this in another video it's not me lying to you it's just me choosing to show you one specific part of my life and one specific part of my personality and so ever since I started thinking about doing more serious videos I started talking about this stuff so oh my gosh Katie just get into the video so basically I don't talk about what I do all day and I don't show you guys what I do all day. Sometimes I do. Like if I'm at Yellowstone and I'm walking around the geysers, I'll show you. Or if I'm canoeing, I'll show you. But most of my days, I don't show you most of my days because I don't really do anything. And I feel like a lot of you guys at this point might be like, oh, this is boring. Please don't shut it off. I have a point. I really, really have a point to this. I spend most of my days, if I'm in my car, not staying in someone's house. I spend most of the day sitting in my car, on my phone, checking Instagram, um, or at TJ Maxx or Target walking around. Even if I'm not buying anything, I don't really have any money right now, I'm not buying things, but just looking at things. And essentially, I don't really do anything on most days because I have incredibly severe anxiety. And that is something I've never shared before because I haven't wanted to. And again, if you guys are like, oh, whatever, she has anxiety, bye. Please, please keep watching because there's a lot more to this story. I actually, I actually have um, two, I actually have two uh, pretty severe mental illnesses. And I've just never wanted to tell you guys. Because I, I, because there's a stigma and I hate, I hate so much that there's a stigma and I don't want it to be like, oh, she's sick. So whatever she says doesn't matter. Or, oh, she's sick. So she's crazy. Um, so I, so why am I watching her? Why am I listening to her? I, I know there's such a strong stigma around mental illnesses because people because people who don't have them see people like me 
and probably some of you, almost definitely some of you, um, as as weak or as stupid or as lazy or as um, we're we're not we're not doing enough to get better or we're just wallowing in our depression or we want to be sick or we just want attention or we want to make excuses or we want to have we want to have excuses why we're not succeeding or why we're not doing what we want or that we're making it up or that we're lying especially around the word depression um that's not one of my diagnoses it's but it's obviously it's part of almost every diagnosis but that word depression i remember meeting someone once who was very sick i met her in a very a very specific circumstance that I knew she was very sick and she's like oh I just have depression and it's like that's not no it's not just depression like that word everybody uses it nowadays the same with anxiety depression and anxiety I feel like so many people it's just like a oh yeah I'm depressed sometimes it's not as serious as others um, but sometimes it's incredibly serious same with anxiety having anxiety because you have a test is not the same as having generalized anxiety where you wake up crying every day they're just not the same things and so I feel like a lot of these words have been like misconstrued and they're super like jumbled up now to really not mean what they mean um the same with like bipolar people use that term of like oh like she has mood swings a lot she must be bipolar it's like first of all that's not what bipolar means but second of all why is it seen like that why is it oh maybe she has bipolar why is it seen that way why is it seen as like oh you're depressed just get out just go exercise you'll be fine you have anxiety just like just power through it you're fine you're okay you're fine it's like no i'm not fine actually and it's okay to not be fine sometimes, guys. You don't have to be positive all the time. You don't have to be happy all the time. You don't have to want to push forward all the time. And I'm not going to tell you yet what my diagnoses are, um, but anxiety comes with them. It just does. I think the same with the depression. Having most mental illnesses is going to come with depression. Is going to come with pretty severe anxiety. And I wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like some of you are probably curious about what I do all day. Especially when I'm on the road, when I'm in my car, I'm in the middle of nowhere where I don't know anybody. What do I do all day? And I wanted to, to tell you that a lot of times I don't do anything. I generally end up at some kind of grocery store or Target to grab some food. Or if I'm near In-N-Out, I will go to In-N-Out. But besides that, I sit in my car. I uh, have a lot of anxiety and the anxiety gets so severe that it gets paralyzing and I know that I know that some of you know what that's like so I honestly spend a lot of my day when I'm alone distracting myself because I get so overwhelmingly paralyzed with my brain it's hard for me to even do anything that's remotely productive I didn't want to record this video didn't want to I like editing and stuff I love doing all that but recording sometimes is hard especially the past few weeks this summer has been really really difficult and when I wasn't around people I just hanging out in my car on my phone and depending on where I am sometimes I feel better sometimes like that day that I had where I was canoeing and stuff that was a great day I felt great that day but there was a lot of days yesterday I drove all day and I literally cried for about an hour and a half of the drive. Like hysterically cried. And it was not safe. Not safe. Don't do that. But I did. And I feel like I just was ready. And again, I know some of you guys are just going to be mad at me or make fun of me. I know that's going to happen, which is part of the reason I was nervous to share this kind of stuff. But I also know that so many of you are going to understand. Or you're going to be like, hey, Katie, I'm the same way. Or, oh, I know someone the same way or something i know that so many of you guys and i don't oh p.s and i feel like a lot of you guys probably know this about me by now i don't like sympathy i don't want sympathy i'm i don't i don't want sympathy i don't like it that's not the point of any of these videos it's not feel bad for me feel bad for me my life sucks that's not it the point of these videos is to connect with you guys more maybe help some of you guys even just help in a way of like oh katie feels that way too so do i and so my hopes in these videos i i if you guys like this one please let me know in the comments please like this video let's talk about it please because if you do, I'm gonna keep continuing to make them. I'm gonna keep continuing? I'm gonna continue to make them. But if you don't like them, if this is too serious for you, if you want it to stay a travel channel, please tell me that too. Because if this is not the content that you guys wanna watch, maybe I could make it into a separate channel. Maybe I just won't ever talk about it. I, I wanna know your opinion because I do not wanna post content that you guys don't like or that uh, it just isn't what you wanna watch. I don't wanna split my channel in a way that you don't want to watch my videos so just please let me know in the comments either way not in a mean way hopefully uh, if you don't like this maybe don't be like i hate you shut up but just maybe let me know that's totally fine if it's just like no i'd rather just see the travel stuff maybe i still might do these sometimes and maybe you just don't have to watch them i didn't figure all that out yet but if i can help one person who's like me or who knows people like me 
because I feel like there's so many, there are so many people like me, even just in the sense of you're sick and it is an illness guys. It's not that I'm weak and stupid. It's that I'm sick. I have two illnesses. One I was born with and one, um, I might as well tell you now, one was trauma induced. I had a trauma. Uh, that induced one of them and the other one I was born with chemical imbalance could not have prevented that and even the trauma one wasn't necessarily preventable after the trauma but some people like me when I meet people or even on my videos or even on my Instagram like sometimes I just seem happy and people are just like oh you you seem so happy you're doing such a great job I'm not most of the time I'm not but Maybe there's one person out there who's like, oh, I heard that one of my friends is sick, but like she's always so happy, so like, I don't believe her. It doesn't mean that she's not sick or that he's not sick or that they're not sick. It doesn't mean that. It might mean that they're hiding it because they're embarrassed. It might mean that they're hiding it because you don't understand or because you don't want to understand. Sometimes when I start to tell someone they don't understand, I stop because I don't, I don't like being misunderstood and most of the time I am misunderstood. It's really hard guys and I know some of this is me being vague but it's too, way too much to put into one video but I do have so much to say about all of this. I just wanted to tell you guys that my life is not all of what I share, nobody's is. No YouTuber you watch, no Instagram person you watch, Snapchat person, no one is exactly what they show you. People have better times than they're showing you and they have worse times than they're showing you and one might be more prevalent than the other and for me, I have a lot of worse times. And again, I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. I don't actually want any advice either. I don't want pity. I don't want advice. I don't want you feeling bad for me. I just want the comment section in these kind of videos to be if you wanna share, share. If you want to share in hopes that maybe someone else in my comments feels similar to you and you can make friends, do that. If you want to tell me, no Katie, I don't like these videos, tell me. If you want to tell me, yes Katie, I love these videos, I know exactly what you're talking about, I relate to that, please tell me, please tell me. Because I feel like a lot of people with mental illnesses, it's so hard because you don't feel like you're understood. You don't feel like you can relate to anyone. And that's how I feel a lot. That's how I feel a lot of the times. I know there's forums, I know there's uh, like group therapy things, but my hopes is almost that maybe this video can can get huge and that there's so many people in the comments and that you guys can make friends and that you guys can have a partner in life who understands you. Because I've only had that a few times and it was so nice. It's so nice to have someone, you can just say I'm having an anxiety attack or you can almost just look a certain way and, and they understand what's going on. It's really hard, it's incredibly lonely. It's incredibly lonely to have people who don't understand you because just like okay just just get better just stop crying just uh just go outside you'll be fine just go just do just whatever just just people say just it's, it's like makes it sound easy this is not easy I don't have an easy life and I feel like I, I really I am nervous about the comments honestly because I feel like there's gonna be some people who are like you do have an easy life your life is fine your life is fine I will get more in depth in other videos my life has been fine but it's not, it's not. And again, I know there's gonna be people, oh, well, there's people starving places and there's people who are being tortured and the people, yeah, there's a lot of other people who have hard lives, a lot. And there are people whose lives are, saying that things are harder or easier is not good. There's no point in comparing yourself because there's always gonna be someone who has an easier life or a better life or who's prettier than you are or who's smarter than you are. And there's always gonna be people who have a worse life than you do. There's no point of comparing unless you're comparing to yourself. And I know growing up, I was okay. I got sick when I was 19 and I'm 31 now. And it's gone up and down, even the past 12 years, gone up and down, I've had a few, I've had maybe a combined year where I've been okay in the past 12, where I've been okay. And if you guys want me to do more videos, I will eventually tell you what my illnesses are. I will tell you what the trauma is if you wanna know. Um, a lot of people who know me personally know all this stuff already. I don't hide it off of YouTube, but also I don't tell everybody, but I am pretty open about it because I think it's important. I want that stigma to go away. And I know it probably will never completely go away, but I want it to lessen. I want it to drastically lessen because we are not stupid. We're not weak. We are not just letting ourselves be sick. We are not using it as an excuse to be like lazy or to like not work or to cry every day. We're not doing this to hurt other people. We are sick. 
Sometimes we're born this way, sometimes it was caused by things out of our control. And I, I want people to understand that this is an illness. We have illnesses. It's not that we're stupid and lazy, we are sick. And so I wanna make more videos to just kind of help with people understanding, with people feeling accepted or understood. Um, yeah, okay, all right, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later, bye. I don't, I don't know what to say, but I love you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm nervous to post this, but I think it's important. I think it's important, so, okay, bye. Ooh.